Okay, can somebody please tell me why the girlies on here with like the Birkins and the Chanel? Girl, they be fucking. And I'm not talking about my nurse girlies, my lawyer girlies, my nine to five girlies that you know. Because every nine to five, y'all be sleep on every nine to five girlies that they's making 20 plus K a month. Okay? I'm not talking about those girlies. I'm talking about the ones where y'all be wondering, like, how is she getting all this? She ain't got no job, baby. That cat is clocking in. That cat is working overtime. She's tired. Woman's delusion knows, knows no end. Like, absolutely crazy. Did she say nurses and lawyers, 95 women, are making 25K a month, i.e. 300 grand a, a year? Absolutely insane. Because it's... What nurse? What nurse is making 300 grand a year? Uh, uh, are women just not following their taxes? Uh, are women just really not following their taxes? Because census, okay, say about let's say under 10%, under 10%, I think that's much lower, like under 5%, are making 300 grand or more a year. So unless women are doing it illegally by not filing their taxes, okay, not reporting what they're making, which it's weird because how can you get a paycheck and not be able to not report it? Because how are women, nine to five women, nurses, I know some lawyers probably would be, not. I don't think the majority of lawyers are making 300 grand a year. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I know lawyers are a high profession, but 300 grand, I mean, are the majority of lawyers or majority of lawyers making 300 grand a year? I guess maybe, but... How about our nurses? Are the majority? I mean, are, are any nurses making three hundred grand a year? You, I'm, I'm about to change my profession then, because I've never heard of a nurse, nine to five nurse, making three hundred grand a year. What nine to five job does that? Uh, that's why I've said before, women are absolutely delusional because census stats say. Otherwise, so like I said, unless women are illegally misrepresenting their taxes and getting money under the table, I don't know how women are doing it, but uh, please tell me how. Responding to Aaron's comment, we have to stop this, y'all. All of our white counterparts are engaged by the time we graduate from nursing school. Let's set the record straight. A man proposing to you while you're in nursing school is just a man trying to secure the bag. A man proposing to you, especially before you graduate, is just a man with a plan, and you're the plan. Don't shoot the messenger. I work with them. They all complain about their husbands. I had one coworker tell me she could only take eight weeks off from maternity leave because her husband don't make enough. She has to go back to work. I had another coworker who complains about her husband. He lacks determination, lacks motivation, is not ambitious, takes the back seat, and lets her do everything. Unless that man is already secure, already established, already has his own, a man proposing to you in nursing school is not the flex you think it is. A girl being proposed to while she's in nursing school is just a woman who's going to be divorced a few years later. Secure the bag. I never knew that if you marry a nurse, you you become rich now. Hmm. That, that's amazing because the, the, the nurses I've known and heard about, they make average money. I mean, they make okay, they make decent, but you you ain't the next Elon Musk for marrying a, a nurse. Securing the bag? You, so you're saying um, white men marry uh, nurses, right? Their, their counterparts, right? Marry women. White women, white women nurses because they're trying to secure the bank because she will be the what the provider of the relationship <laughs> this is absolutely insane absolutely insane to think that marrying a nurse is a man securing the bag uh, wow absolutely the department delivered. of labor for 2022 the average male income was 38,000 per year which breaks down to about 158 dollars per work day right 
in contrast, I just ordered a pair of Hermes pool slides that I'm going to throw around the resort for a weekend at about $360. Which means the average male would have had to work two full working days just to cover that light ass bill. I say that to say this. A lot of these made up scenarios, conversations, discourse, negative comments and so forth are being led by people inadequate and unqualified to even have these discussions. That's it. You're amazing. All right. Let's fill in the blanks that women tend to leave out. The average income for the same demographic, right, with women is about 36, right, about 36 grand, which equals to about 950, right? That's about, uh, what is it? 83% of what men earn, right? So women earn less than men in if totality, right, in totality. Right. So women also have about equal the, the credit card debt as men have more credit cards than men, uh, more student loan debt than men, yet they earn less than men in totality. It's not about the wage gap in totality. OK. And yet women are the highest consumers. So really, what does that say? It says. Women just spends a lot. They don't make a whole lot, but they spend a lot. They spend just as much as a, equal as a man for how much he makes more than a woman. So really, women is just what I mean. It's like you can't have a, uh, a an opinion in these situations when here's a woman that's just spending money like it's nothing, and then more than likely. She has debt to equal or more than the men of her equal standings. That's great. You 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 occurring debt in life, amazing. Men, they, they try to keep it within their budget, within what they can do. Men don't spend as much. Okay, they may occur debt, but it's reasonable, right? House, mortgage, you know, other financial kind of. Uh, incentive debts but that's the thing that women like to leave out you make you don't make as much as men yet you spend just as much or more than men and you are the primary consumers of products okay great you're you, you, women are heavy spenders women use money like it's nothing women are irresponsible with money when they make not as much as men you don't believe in a 50-50 household. No. No. Are you serious? I'm, they say a that. man is to provide and protect. My mother said to me how she raised her. Well, I'm I, if you have a wife mm -hmm. and she has a job too, one of y'all got to go. <laughs> I believe a woman should work if she wants to work it, but if she doesn't want to work, a man, not a grown boy, oh. is supposed to provide and protect. When I married Gladys, I never would forget when we went to the closing. I never ever shared this with her. And she had a check, I had a check. Oh, thank and you. I said, Your money does not spend you. Mm. Her mother said, What a man. No. <laughs> <laughs> a man's job is to look out for his family, to protect his family, mm -hmm. to provide his family. Yes. If I have to work two or three jobs to do that, I'm going to do that. Wow. Now, if a woman wants to work, that's her goal. Whatever money that she earns, she should keep that for herself. Yes. But not to pay bills. You know, this, this old head is delusional in a way where his mindset is traditional, which is good, but it's not applicable in today's day and age, right? Let, this is funny that people love to pick and choose traditions. Um, the type of family, the type of man that, let's say, he provide and protect fully. Well, he's literally going to expect you to be submissive, be obedient, right? Follow his order, follow his leads. 
that's tradition. That's old school stuff. Here's an old man not even not not mentioning that. Just mentioning the the pretty stuff that women love to hear, right? Providing her for her fully. But how many times you hear women complain about you know back in the day, things about back in the day, how women have no rights, they have no say, they have no nothing. Yeah, this is the thing where where it's stupid because people would just love to pick and choose, right? Pick and choose how things were, but forget about it's like forget about also the other things that came with the past. Also, in this day and age, right, with the economy, it's like first of all, you better expect you better expect to be dating much older than right men that are fully established. Because if you want to date men that are maybe your age or around it, it would be insane for you to think that he can financially provide for you and possibly kids. Insane. Because most people are barely providing for themselves with how the economy is. I've said it. Being a stay-at-home housewife or whatever is a luxury that average people cannot afford. It's just how it is. So she has to work to provide for the family. I would say it's better for, you know what? What you do is that have shared responsibilities. You each pay for the bill, you each contribute to the household, you each contribute to, you know, raising children. That is That sounds more logical and women should be promoting that more nowadays. Instead of trying to do traditional relationships when average people don't qualify for, for it. They don't, unless again you want to be one of the many women that wants one of the very few men, right? The, the high value men, men that makes, you know, well over six figures. Okay, and that comes with what? A lot of women want them. I'm not saying that they are natural cheater, but they are men that would have lots of options. So there's not, so there's no telling if they would pick you. Okay, or you could date the much, much older men that are well-established already, like maybe this old man. There's the difference where this old man probably found his wife back in the, what is the, the 60s, 70s, I don't know. So really it's like, it's just ridiculous that people love to pick and choose um, traditions or pick and choose how things were in the past, but neglect other things that, that they hate right like i said where how many times women say oh the the past you know um all men in the past were abusive okay but then you love to bring up men being traditional from the past what come on pick stop picking and choosing which which a uh, narrative you want to hear or promote